Now, with Sync, there's so much happening under the covers that there's really not a demo I can show you that they really get some of these key points around what's different in our Sync server. So if you look at this diagram, you know, basic synchronization will get you some simple data from the back end. Maybe there's some, some translation that does because a lot of existing solutions only put name value pairs or JSON objects on the device. But what our customers need is to get the same relational data model that's in the back end on the device so that you have transactional context, you have object relationships, and you're changing the data on the device as close to what the back end expects as possible. And when you do that, then you can add in all these additional features around specifying client filters on the device or server filters in the back end to really get granular on how much data is pushed to the device and make sure it's all relevant. You can track conflicts. You can do conflicts replay or, or review what conflicts have been automatically resolved based on your uh, conflict uh, policy. You can do batching and chunking. So batching to send back bigger, bigger pieces of data or chunking when you actually break it up in really small pieces to make sure you can get that big data to the device that may have bad network connectivity. You can maintain tra transactional context, and you can even keep a persistent cache of data right in the sync server. So if the back end's not always available, the sync services in the middle always have a copy of the data, so you're actually just syncing against the mobile fabric layer and not the back end if it's not highly available. 